we have 4K 265 codec Wi-Fi, it's supposed to be quite fast Wi-Fi and over the air updates for what? this look yeah we've got quite a popular little Android box Android TV box here one with an antenna which means good range two fast USB connections HDMI on the side another USB that is USB 3 there two USB 2's one USB 3 and then a clock at the front we'll have a look at that what you get in the box get a little manual here then we get the power supply little power adapter <clears throat> then we get a HDMI cable I mean how good is that throwing in a HDMI cable so many devices that cost a lot more than this do not even bother with a HDMI now it's quite thin but I'm sure that'll do the job and yes look even a remote control all good let's go and set it up a TX6 on a computer monitor on the box so now it's booting up boot TX6 so I've got the Android box plugged into the monitor that's a standard computer monitor uh, with an IPS display etc so there's no need to use or have to use a television and there we have the screen so in the back of this you've got the USB connectors and I do have my keyboard plugged in you can see so that uh, makes it very useful for things like Play Store so basically I've been thinking about installing some games and I think Facebook as well I've seen, see you can play games on Facebook you don't need to download the games they're on Facebook so if you're thinking about keeping your space there's a little tip for you okay I've downloaded a, a 4k video file here 2160 and it's Havech 265 HEVC 265 and this is it it looks uh, it's playing fine it, this is the high quality version of the 4k it's playing it pretty well to me uh, a quad resolution and even 4k this is now YouTube displaying in 4K. You can see there the product number, the RAM and the ROM. We're now using CPU Z, which is now giving us uh, some information at the top. Cortex All Winner H6, a 1.49. and the Mali version of 720 S system android version 9 different information here so I've actually got the 613 so this is bang up to date 